Anyway, y'all. So let me tell y'all what happened today. Today, <clears throat> I reached out to um, manager where I uh, do lashes at. Well, I have been doing lashes at for the past year and a half. To let her know that it's over with. Finito, donezo. Arrivederci, you feel me? She ain't text me back. I'm mad nervous. But I shouldn't be because it's part of leveling up. You know, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. But look at my fellow friends on the water. So yeah, anyway, um it's it's a it's a scary time. Um I don't know how to tell these people. But I told the manager to text and I gotta go tell him face to face. I gotta tell the the, the owner. But I hope she ain't mad and I hope they don't make my boat move because they want to be all in their motor shit. Oh, they came up. They coming right toward us. Oh, my God. Stop, y'all. Y'all scaring me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so we have some friends coming. They out here chilling. Hey, y'all. You look too comfortable. I know, right? <laughs> this is our first time. What's on the park close today? What's on the park close? Uh, oh, you YouTubing too? No. Oh, y'all look real chill. <laughs> 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 like they... a long time ago. Oh, yeah. I had kids and I don't have time. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, they both look real good. They got like some I don't know, look like a video camera. I don't know, but they look like they was chilling. They didn't even had to do no work. They was just on the boat. Like that's life. You know what I'm saying? That's what you call life. Like. And then we got our other two friends. They just canoeing. They got their oars just like us. You know, husband and wife, uh, they got their own boats. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Pretty good, yourself? Good, you look nice and relaxed. Thank you. This is our first time. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I was just saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Enjoy. I'm telling you, we got to enjoy it while we got it. So yeah, we just having a good time. Just having a little snack or whatever. So I don't know if she's gonna text me back about, I mean, I don't know if she, I don't know how she feels <laughs> about the situation, but I don't know. We about to find out tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm really scared y'all. What should I do? All right, let me know. If y'all have any suggestions or any encouraging advice because like someone told me, it's really not my problem. You feel me? It's just like when you leave a job, like say I die, right? What they gonna do? Replace me. They're gonna put an ad in the Indeed or whatever and you know, replace me. So that's the same thing, right? You gotta figure it out after the person leaves the company or whatever they do, you have to figure it out. You gotta move on. I, you didn't want me to stay there forever, did you? Nah, you didn't want me to stay there forever and not elevate. Because then that would be like, damn, I want you to stay here and stay stuck, stagnated, working for me and getting nowhere in life. See, that's how I would take it if you did, if you wasn't happy for me. So that's what keeps me going. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing something positive. It ain't like I'm just saying, you know what? I'm leaving. Um, I got other things to do. I'm sorry. I can't work here no more. And what the next question would be, what about the clients? See, if I didn't have a backup plan, that would have been like, I don't know. Figure it out. You, let her lash him. But I got a better solution. What about the clients? I got you. They coming with me. They coming with me. What you think? Like, they don't want nobody else touching the eyes after I didn't been all up in them eyes for all this time. They don't want nobody else touching them. So they coming with me. Shout out to all my clients too. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all been down for me since day one. Y'all believed in me. Y'all stuck it through with me. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really appreciate y'all supporting my dream. Because this that's where that's where it all counts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all continue to keep booking your appointments. Y'all see, you know, y'all see something in me. And y'all support me. And that's all I ask. You know what I mean? Support your girl. I'm just doing this for the cause. I'm doing this for the, for the ladies, for the women. I don't want to just say for the women because there's men who like lashes too. So I don't want to keep, keep them exempt. But I, I'm just doing this for people who want to feel good. This is a feel good industry. And that's what I'm into. Feel good. You know what I'm saying? I just came from working in an emergency room for two years. Unhappy the whole time. 
Do y'all know what that's like getting up in the morning to work in an emergency room when you really don't want to work there? I ain't no nurse. So I ain't go to school to become no nurse to work in no ER, right? So the nurses who are there, they obviously, that's what they like to do. I was just the administrator part of it, but I still was close to patients. I still was going in a room. And I still had to take stuff from them. I still had to be around the sorrow, the pain, the hurt, the, the nagging, the gagging, the throwing up, the coughing, the all of that. Every day I have to be around that. The death passing me by, you know, the ambulances, all that. I'm, I'm right there. And it's mentally draining. You know what I'm saying? So at this point in my life, as a middle-aged woman, I said, you know what? I'm taking over. I'm not going to be sitting here getting up, doing the same routine every single day, not happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like a lot of a lot of us, we've been doing this for a long time, all our life. Me, I, I chose to stop that. I'm not doing that no more. Getting up to get to do the same thing over and over, over again. Not happy. I have major anxiety going to work when I was working in the ER. Eventually, I was like, you know, I'm done. I'm going to take my lashing career to the next level. And that's what I'm doing. I just, um, I'm taking a, a, a certified Nova Lash class that I paid for that the, uh, the, the class is coming up on the 4th of August. I'm very excited about that. But those of y'all who know my, my story, my personal story about lashing, y'all know that Nova Lash was very important to me. And it took all these years now for me to finally take the course and elevate. That's a, that's a game changer for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to be Nova Lash certified. I'm about to have my own suite. I'm about to be taking exclusive clients, traveling around the world, meeting new people, building relationships, networking, having a good time while doing it, and making money. Like, like, what more what more can you ask for? You feel me? That's what I'm trying to do here on out. I didn't bust my ass. I sacrificed to be a mother for to my two children. As a single mom, they're finally grown up and my daughter is self-sufficient. My son is, so yeah, we out here. We just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just trying to make it, you know, through. So now that they out here, they old enough, now I can enjoy life and do the things that I like to do. And stuff like this is what I like to do. This is what I call tranquility. And my daughter's grown and I get to enjoy it with her. You know what I mean? I, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be out here. She has a lot to do. She has a lot to do with how I move these days. You know what I mean? She's very encouraging. She's 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 top notch, y'all. Y'all better go get you one. You know what I'm saying? She's very encouraging. She she encourages me to do a lot of things that I'm doing right now. To get the sweet, all that. It's her. It's all her. You know, mom, you gotta stop being scared. Gotta do it. I'm so grateful to have my daughter, y'all. Y'all have no idea, like. I don't be knowing my personal stuff, but this is for real. My daughter is the real deal Holyfield. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight A's from pre-K to she's about to be a senior in high school. I mean, 4.0 GPA. She don't even have to go to class next year. She got two classes remote in the house while we travel the world and do what we like to do. <laughs> so... I'm just saying, y'all, you know, if y'all got a dream and y'all really want to do it, y'all better go for it now. Because those of y'all who my age, in their 40s and all that, y'all have to go ahead and, and, and live your life. Because this is it. You know what I mean? I sacrifice my whole life. I don't. When I say I have no life, I don't go nowhere. I don't do nothing. All I do is work and be home. I didn't come out to Maryland to turn up. I came out here for a better environment for my kids. I put them first. I wanted them to have a better environment. You know what I mean? And it worked, you know? I'm grateful to say that my son ain't, you know, he ain't been in jail. He ain't locked up. You know, he ain't gang banging, robbing and stealing. You know, he's doing what he like to do, his music. He's, that's his thing. That's his passion. And that's what he's really serious about. You know what I mean? My daughter is very serious about business. She gets to the shmoney. She don't be playing. You know what I'm saying? She got a method to everything. So yeah, like, thank you, God. Thank you. Look at that sky, y'all. That sky is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. This is the postcard, y'all. <laughs> this is the postcard right here. All right? This is right outside my back door. Five minutes up the street, y'all. <laughs> but, yeah. I like it here. We're going to come... Um, next time, we're going to come um, more earlier. Because right now, the sun is about to go down. We see a lot of our, our peoples over there. They got their little trucks or whatever, you know, loading up. People fishing. They loading up their little fish. But we just catching these last few minutes of uh, this tranquility on the lake. And while I talk to you about, you know, these challenging things that I'm going through right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
leveling up, doing my own thing. Like I never ever wanted to own my own salon, never. That's not something that I, oh, I want to, no. But a suite, that'll do. You know why? Because it's me, all me. I could run shit, control shit the way I want. I don't have to be nobody mother. I don't have to be babysitting nobody. I come and go as I please. I book accordingly how I feel like. You know what I mean? And I get to keep the, the people happy, most of all. And that's very important to me, keeping my clients happy. You know what I mean? Like, I, I never let, I'll never just leave y'all dry. Y'all got something going on. Y'all got an event. Y'all need to come see me. I'm not going to have y'all here looking crazy. I really be caring about y'all lashes. I be really panicking. Like, I can't even sleep sometime. I'm like, oh, my God, it's so-so lashes good. Like, damn. I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, it be like that. So I take this that serious. Um, I haven't reached my full potential yet with the lashes because a lot of things has happened in my life. And, and, and some, I can't even get it out. What has something to do with it is... Um, me being afraid of failure. And I still even might fail. So I'm just, I'm going to just keep that up front. I still might fail. But you know what? I'm just going to be faithful. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. You know what I mean? So I'm letting y'all know that this is what it is. I'm out here. I'm jumping on faith and passion. And I'm going to do the damn thing. I'm going to lash my ladies around across America and around the world. Because guess what? Nova Lash is worldwide. It's global. It's a global lash company. It's all over Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Several countries, okay? So if I wanted to get up right now and go to Dubai and just chill in Dubai for a while, I got work. See, that's the thing about lashing and having good fingers. You feel me? Long as your eyes and your fingers work and you are a Noble Lash certified artist, you can go anywhere and make some money. How about that? All right? So my goal is to, you know, perfect my craft you know, be the best, make the most money. Then I want to train you to make some money. I want to train you and show y'all how much I love what I do. I want y'all to feel the same way I feel. I want y'all to feel the money in your hands when y'all lashing somebody. I want you to let nobody tell y'all I can't make no money lashing. You know what I'm saying? Because they just don't know. But you know. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to, you're about to find out. So anyway, I really appreciate all my supporters and everybody who's been there, who's been down for me. Um... And I need y'all to keep following my journey, okay? Uh, like I said, I got the suite. It's opening next week. Grand opening. I need y'all to follow me. Follow the journey to come up. Um, I'm not excited, y'all. Follow your girl on I am beauty. I A M B E A U D E E on Instagram and TikTok. I am beauty. That's my last page. And Lady Reese is my other page my personal page so if y'all want to follow me on lady reese while i turn up and be acting funny you know that y'all can go down lady reese um but yes i need y'all to follow me support go to my youtube i need y'all to subscribe comment like please i need y'all to thumbs up all right because i'm trying to get monetized y'all i'm really trying to get monetized i'm trying to get my followers up and i need y'all help you know what i'm saying so tell a friend to tell a friend especially those out there you know what i'm saying who's into lashes or whatever who you just into um hair and just stuff like i'm i'm really here to show y'all my personality who i am you know what i mean like y'all know i'm in the beauty industry i'm not like getting um too specific especially in the hair situation because i do hair i still do hair sporadically but i love lashes that's what i'm doing so that's what i need y'all to follow me on my journey opening up my first business okay um this is some entrepreneurship stuff Look at your bar. See, he got his life vest. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is what I'm talking about. He's just chilling. You know what I'm saying? That's what you call the life. People are really out here. Right up the street, y'all. Yeah, feel me, y'all. Anyway, like I said, tell a friend to tell a friend. I need y'all to support me, and I'll see y'all soon.